Kay Kirsten, Deputy Editor, Amy Thompson, Acting Features Editor, Mary Barshi, Pictures Editor, Trudy Slavin, Chief Sub Editor, and Zoe Crouch, Production Editor, all took time out of their busy day to discuss their roles at Take 5 magazine and what they've been working on that day. Deputy editor means that you're the second in charge. So it's still a management position. You're still looking at the overall tone of the magazine, making sure it's right, content is right for your readers. Um, you're still looking at sales and making sure they're healthy and that we're doing all the right things to appeal to them. Um, you're across uh, not just the stories and puzzles in the magazine, but you're also involved in other areas like marketing and advertising as well. Today, being this busy pre-Christmas period is, is quite a hectic time. We have uh, twice weekly planning meetings to make sure that we're on track with all of our deadlines. There have been uh, other meetings like a social media meeting and uh, doing a bit of research on some other things we could try as well. First of all, we've got obviously the whole features list um, going through that and putting it onto our system so it goes through to our production editor, Zoe, so that she can then put it through to art and everybody else. So I have to obviously check that there's no typos, that we've got all the contact details, all that kind of thing on there, that contracts are in, any legal notes if it needs to be run past our lawyers at all. And then I will be moving on to these bad boys, which is a whole heap of proofs to, uh, well, layouts to proofread before they get sent to the printers. And then I'll give those to Kate, our deputy editor, and then she'll have a look at them as well. I am what you call a freelance photo editor. Basically that means that people hire me out on different magazines. So at the moment I'm just assisting the photo editor on Take 5. So today has been a bit of a mixture of things. I've talked to readers on the phone about their photos that they've sent in because often uh, photos that are sent in, the photos are actually not populated with information. So what I do is I call the readers to assess what the photos are, what they've sent, and I date them and ask some relevant questions like whose birthday is it, who's in the photo, left to right, name the files accordingly so people in art and in subs department can see what the files are called and then accordingly can c caption them and also lay them out. As chief sub that effectively means I edit the layouts so we get the pages from art, we cut the copy to fit, we write the captions, we fiddle with the copy um, if it needs to be fixed up in terms of punctuation, grammar, sentence construction and we check facts. I have done a final sub on a couple of pages. I've also been reading proofs. Proofs are the pages that we look at um, as a final look before it goes to the printers. So I've either been marking those off to print or I've been marking up changes, making the changes and sending them to art. I work as a production editor and that involves managing copy flow from the departments, from features and pictures as well and coordinating that and getting it through to art, keeping an eye on deadlines, just making sure everything gets through where it's supposed to go at the right time. The production role is actually a very strange role because it's, it's, every magazine's different and there are different responsibilities. There was a new issue, issue six, so I had to place everything on the pages, on, on, on journal design, put the ads in, create the folders, get the layouts created. So it means art can go in and pick them up and they're all set. 